What's up everybody? Welcome to the new Rock Home Vlog. I hope you enjoying your summer. We are enjoying it. We are back in the garage. As you can clearly see, my RC390 is on the bench and we got a very nice package for it. Actually, it's from our friends. Dominic, how you say it right? VWP. VWP is right? This is your... Uh, that's my version, right? I'm gonna call it like I do it in Slovenia, VP. And my friends from VP sent me a race suspension for my RC390. And that's by far the biggest update that you can do on your race bike. Because it improves your uh, grip and riding and you can go faster and so on. And it will probably improve the time. So that's exactly what we want to test today. So we're gonna pimp uh, my race bike and then we're gonna head to the race circuit to measure the, the time difference uh, what do we need to beat which time do you remember 44 and something I think give me a second so it's 53.67 seconds so we need to beat about 54 seconds what do what do you think how much we're gonna, we gonna improve the time if we improve second or two once one or two seconds yeah i'm gonna bet about 52 point something that we're gonna improve so about one second that's a lot so yeah let's see if this is gonna work let's see what's in the package <laughs> Okay, let's see the that should be probably the rear shot because it's smaller and I always like to see new suspension it's pretty expensive every brand that you buy but it's it's worth it when you race so uh, that's the aftermarket apex uh, rear shock and it has adjustable rebound high and uh, low speed uh, damping uh, it's adjustable by height and the spring you can change different uh, springs and yeah that's everything what you need when you race is fully adjustable unlimited choices so yeah that should be a big difference between my stock suspension so that's the rear shock so let's see the front forks oh man the difference is they come not just the cartridges but like a full unit so you just swap the stock ones and put those race ones in okay let's see these babies oh man they are pretty light man it's nicely cnc machine high grade aluminium i see i'm gonna put it on the scale and see the difference what's the weight when we take down the stock ones and uh, same adjustable than the rear shock so they have adjustable uh, preload spring preload uh, rebound damping fully adjustable so the options uh, are unlimited and i read that they have sensible feedback uh, because the inner tubes, uh, there is some high technology in it. I don't really understand it, but for me it's important. It's gonna be faster uh, as it looks like it will be. So let's get to work and let's see. <laughs> Okay, Dominic, where you want that we start first, rear or front? Let's start front. Okay, front shocks. Last time when I was riding, I felt that I need a bit more power on the front brake. So we, we are using now the 300 front disc, but maybe we're gonna upgrade 320. We will see. I still have the old tires on it, but when we put it, when we put race tires on it, we will see if I need a stronger brake so I can brake later and go faster. Hey Rock, Yo. didn't we promise to give away something? Oh yeah, man, I forgot. Luckily, I had I already chose uh, or my manager helped me also because it was so much comments when I asked in the previous race vlog when we turned that uh, bike from the drift to the race where we asked the names for the six sections that we have on the race track. So there were so many ideas and uh, we choose one. So you already know the winner. I know the winner. So we're gonna give away a jacket and cool gloves from Makna. So stay with us in the vlog and i will show you the the cool names of the sections and i will tell you who's the winner
Okay, so before we put the ray shocks on, I said I want to weigh the, if there is any difference in weight. So I have those stock ones. I'm gonna put them like that. And the other one. That's too heavy for the... Um, yeah, this is for the kitchen, not for... That's, for the, <laughs> that's not for a few kilos. We need to buy a new uh, scale. We do one by one, one by one. Let, let me see. Okay, now zero. 3.9. 3.9. Check it. 3.978 okay and now the other one this one has 3.861 so in total those two stock shocks uh, front forks have 7.839 kilo so let's see how is the total weight of that ray shocks so that one like this okay 3.428 and the other one has 3.597 so in total 7024 kilo so between them is about 800 grams so almost a kilo which is a lot so we have also a weight improvement in those front forks okay let's go put them on the bike <laughs> Okay, front forks are done. They look sexy, man. And we need to put that sexy thing on the bike. So let's remove the stock rear shock and let's put this baby on. Okay guys, we are here at the racetrack, but before I go to test the bike now, we have the giveaway. So, one pair of Magna gloves and this cool Magna charger jacket. And in the last race, uh, RC race vlog, we asked you to name the six sections. So, there was a lot of them, Dominic, right? That was a tough one to choose. Yeah, we have a winner. Just give me a second, I save it in my phone. So it's Lucas L and he gave us, uh, actually there was a lot of cool names, but it was like a comment with just one or two cool names that I, I liked personally. But he, Lucas had the most uh, names for the section. So for example, the full throttle section, because I have the full throttle uh, name on my seat. The brake heater, because it's actually really heating up my uh, my brakes on the end the snake section uh the supermoto section which i will rename uh into meribi so we will change two of the names of the sections uh meribi why meribi because it's curvy and my girlfriend it's curvy which i like <laughs> and then he says the fifth section should be the piff puff section i don't know what piff puff means but this will stay in my memory so when i stress on the race circuit i will remember the name so it's the downhill section with piff puff and the sixth section i don't really like so we will need to rename it i don't have an idea yet but he says the end sliding one so it's a too long one i need a shorter uh, just one or two words for that so uh, that's it so lucas l 
congrats the Machna package is yours and yeah let's gear up now and let's see how this uh, VP suspension works <laughs> Section one, section two, section three. Snake. And the river have coming for your curves. Knee slide first. Man, that's such a great feeling. Ah oh, shit. Too much talking. I need to focus. Huge mistake. Let's see what was the time. I think it was much slower than last time. Okay, I was uh, one and a half seconds too slower than our fastest time. 53.6 we need to beat. Okay, round two. I need to talk less. <laughs> Let's see. The bike really feels much stable than with a stock suspension. Doesn't float in the corners and really absorb nicely. So we are running the stock setup that it's come with it. So we didn't change anything, just out of the box. 52.4. One second faster, man. Okay, let's see if I can beat that time. pretty much the same like the second round I also realized that the names needs to be really short for the corners and and the whole sections I don't have enough time to to talk when I want to do a fast lap it's 52.57 I was slower than before yeah oh. Damn, it's definitely faster. It also feels faster because the bike is much stable in the corners where it's not like flowing, but the, the shocks are and the uh, front forks are really absorbing and keeping the bike smooth. So you really feel where is the grip. So if you're starting to slide or what your front tire is doing, by the way, uh, we need to change the tires 
pretty soon because it's becoming dangerous I'm faster and faster and there is no grip so the next update will be definitely some race tires we have them already so we just need to film that vlog and to change them and then gonna be pretty much faster I would say and much more fun and much more safer but shocks and the front forks are amazing they're coming out of the box so with the stock uh, setup so we didn't change uh, nothing we just came to the racetrack showed the intro and right away try to do the few laps uh, with this and, and right yeah. away put a new record put a new record is <laughs> 52.40 right yeah I think it's yeah. the new time so I would say approximately I don't remember now but it's like one second faster correct me somewhere below Dominic when you edit that video I would say mission more than accomplished I would say that's it for this time I'm gonna ride for a bit more now I have so much fun see you in the next one congrats to the winners and guys please share that vlog it means a lot to us and it helps to grow our channel we're close to half a million fans that's crazy we should shoot a crazy vlog because if I remember we need to give away the exhaust so we need to check all the comments pretty crazy vlogs are coming see you in the next one until then rock, rock on, on. Cannot do rock on because it's uh, yeah those are race gloves so rock on see you in the next one. <laughs>